Like many of the other thread groups that are part of the custom thread groups package, the stepping thread group allows the JMeter test designer to precisely control throughput for a load test that follows a predetermined load profile. In a previous video, we covered how to create such a load profile using the ultimate thread group. You can find the link to that video in the description below. With the stepping thread group, the concept is similar. Instead of a time-based table, you define your load profile in terms of iterations or steps that increase load over time. If you have experience with other thread groups in this package, you will recognize the graphical representation of the load profile, which is useful in visualizing throughput over time. Let's add an instance of the stepping thread group to explore more about how it works. The behavior of this thread group is governed by the thread's scheduling parameters, which require specifying a few configuration options that determine each iteration step. We start by specifying the maximum number of threads we desire. Here, in this case, 100. We can then follow the logical prompts on the screen, which will determine how threads are added in a stepwise fashion over the duration of the test. The total duration of our test will depend on how many threads we add at each step and how long in between we've programmed the thread group to wait before adding additional threads. Going through these options, we can see in this case, 100 threads is the maximum number of threads our test will run. It will start running some number of threads immediately as the first wait time is set to zero. Each step will add 10 threads as determined by the next add box. In the threads every box, we can see that threads will be added at 30 second intervals to be ramped up over five seconds. The hold load for box, which follows, states that once we reach 100 threads total, that level of throughput will be sustained for 60 seconds. The remaining two boxes, finally stop and threads every X seconds, express how the final ramp down will occur as indicated by the final downward sloping line at the end of our graphical load profile below. With that, you can see the entire load profile of the test, with steps at each iteration as described by the parameters above. One thing we can do is change some of these parameters to see how it impacts the graphical load profile. For instance, if we change the hold load for value from 60 seconds to 300 seconds, which corresponds to five minutes, note how the profile view below changes. The maximum load is sustained for a much longer duration though our depicted steps to reach that load remain the same. Let's make one more change. Instead of load being added in steps every 30 seconds, let's change that to every 300 seconds or five minutes. Note how the graphical display changes. Now, each step is relatively longer. The test now also takes just over 51 minutes to complete. We can also add one or more samplers to our test that will be managed by the stepping thread group. As done in our previous videos, we will add several dummy samplers. If you are interested in learning more about the utility of dummy samplers, you can read more about these in our blog following the links in the comments section below. To make it so that we can monitor our test within the JMeter UI, we can also consider adding a view results tree. At this point, we can click the start button to run our test. As our test runs, we can monitor the output for debugging purposes within the view results tree listener element. As mentioned earlier, the stepping thread group is one of several thread group types that are part of the custom thread groups package. Please see our other videos on our channel if you are interested in learning more about these advanced thread groups. You can also find links to these in the description below.